welcome back so i'm gonna go ahead and get started with my hair too because i'm actually running a tad late but um today we are doing a quick little chit chat life update i have not i have not uh, well i feel like i have not done one of these videos in such a long time um where like i'm just sitting down with you guys talking and doing my hair and makeup and this is a full hair makeup outfit all of the above sis um you know where we're just talking and vibing and getting ready and doing our hair and yeah it's been a busy 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 past month for me i have been in this journey of entrepreneurship so it's been a busy month but i definitely wanted to come and sit down and give you guys a life update because your girl has been working and i mean putting that work in y'all i quit my nine to five and we're gonna get into that but i did quit my nine to five to really be able to um put in as much effort and time that i possibly could to my businesses i am entering my 30s in a few so you know in one year i will be 30 i'm turning 29 this year um so this is my year of kind of like my get together year i just really want to make sure that i am moving with intention on everything that i do so i have been doing a lot of prep you know prepping for it and things like that just just for what's to come in my life so i definitely wanted to come in here and give you guys a little life update that i did i am pursuing being an entrepreneur full time um and i did quit my nine to five and we're gonna talk about it and I, we're gonna get into the video so and i'm watching game of thrones so if i um if y'all see me like looking up and stuff it's because your girl is watching game of thrones this is my show like i love it yeah today i'm doing like a little soft glam look because i'm going to brunch with a friend so nothing too nothing too major but definitely wanted to do something cute and we're just starting with my hair because my makeup literally takes about 15 minutes for me to do so i never really worry too much about just like doing my makeup like so quick or whatever but um yeah so let's go ahead and get into the bit to the to the business to the video y'all so like if you know you know i actually been started a business the very first business that i had Ooh, i don't like the way that came out uh, no the very first business that i had was actually started in about 2015 i had a hair company um and it was going well like honestly it was very well like i loved selling hair i love just that whole process of selling hair and all of that um but then covid hit and once covid hit baby uh, covid hit and it was like i'm just trying to see which way i want to have these curls because i don't really like the way that what i just did came out but when COVID hit, that kind of really transformed my business and just like my motivation for the business because it was such a huge process to just, this curl, it's not it's not really curling how I wanted to curl, but it's okay because I'm really not going for like super big curls. I'm just going for more of a like waved out look anyway. But um, what I was saying, once COVID hit, it kind of, kind of kind of made the hair business a little bit more difficult for me at the time to be in so i decided okay you know i'm just going to take a break and then i ended up moving to texas within that time frame and you know i've just been getting myself together ever since then so um i'm not new to being in the business and having a business and i feel like i have definitely done my due, due diligence of research why are these just so like i mean this one's okay but it's just not coming out i need to go get a new curler so i'll probably do that as well but it's gonna be okay for right now but um um so i have definitely done my due diligence of research when it comes to just running a business in general and things that are needed to maintain the business lessons learned 
you know, things learned, all of that good stuff. So I definitely feel like I'm now in the process of just really ready to taking that and just amplifying it to the next level. So after, you know, doing my research and starting other businesses as well, um, you know, in between that, in, in between this time period of having my hair business and um, COVID and moving to Texas and stuff, I have started a few businesses since then. And I'm just ready to take those businesses to the next level. So um, I decided to quit my job and it's not, I, I still have another job. So it's not like, I don't wanna say this and you know, I wanna make sure that I throw this out there. I do still have a job, but I just quit my, one of my, one of my nine to fives to allow myself that more of the time to really focus on my actual businesses and work for myself. Um, because I would find myself, you know, getting off of work and I would have all of these plans to, you know, work for myself and spend hours for myself. But I, as a single mom, we can't do everything in the economy right now. We can't afford everything either. We can't afford an assistant. We can't afford, you know, too much. So we do have to do everything as the business owner. So it just became really difficult to just keep up with a consistent routine for my business because you know i'm having to work for someone else so i decided that i'm gonna take a leap on faith with god and just really go full force with my own stuff um so yeah i'm ready to just like fully invest the time that i will be investing working for somebody else for my best to curl that i needed y'all like that's the curl i'm gonna have to go back and redo these because maybe the maybe maybe the curler just wasn't it, it wouldn't heat up it wouldn't all the way up there um but now that i just feel like i have a little bit more of my foot in the game with the whole business ish because when i first started my businesses i did not start them doing the correct structure way like i kind of was just trying to go with the flow with the business and then get things along the way but doing that it just makes it a lot harder for you to actually get the things that are needed for your business in the long run um and that's kind of the the basis of you know the point of the business and the point of having a business is you you want to have a successful business that that's long that, that creates longevity for that business like you want that business to actually be and remain successful for a very long time so um you know with with those businesses i wasn't i was doing what i needed to do but it was not a hundred percent correct in the way that i should have went about doing it so of course you know taking this time off i've had a lot of time to just really research and understand business and like business credit and you know all of those things like i've had time to just invest in researching those things for myself or invest in taking courses and stuff like that to really um i don't i don't like the way that this came out so i'm gonna redo it but to really just allow me to have the full full advantage full knowledge of what's actually going on in my business you know so oh, okay there you go yeah so yeah that's where i've been but as i stated we are back on the business grind um i don't know it's a little flat on this side so i'm gonna go back and do like a few pieces like in the front here and in the middle here because i did just do like the bottom i'm not too worried about but i definitely want more of the curls in in the middle piece so i'm just gonna come in and add some here but um i have been extremely consistent i have invested in marketing promoting and you know just consistently campaigning and consistently going out doing both old traditional ways of promoting my business and networking and stuff like that and also like you know new ways of networking and things um which i feel is very important like you know just still going out there passing flyers and stuff like that out it's super important but i'm really just 
happy that I decided to take this step. This is just not giving what I wanted to give. Like, it's not giving. Yeah, I'm definitely extremely scared, <laughs> you know, for this whole journey because I do feel like, oh Lord, like child, there we go. I can come back to this side. It's just, I wanted to have at least like a general idea because I'm gonna have to redo the bottom anyway. I'm definitely scared of this whole entire process, but you cannot be scared. You know, I'm stepping out on faith and there's no reward without any risk. So I am risking putting everything out there, putting everything into the businesses that I'm working on right now and just this journey. Um, so, you know, I'm excited to see where it takes me. I'm going to probably not talk so much on this side because I get distracted when I'm talking. Um, and I'm really trying to hurry up y'all because I'm rushing, but I'm gonna just come back and talk in a sec. Let me just what? get this side together, okay? Mama. Huh? Hey, baby. Okay. So, starting this side, but let's really talk about it y'all because I don't want anybody to think that I'm telling you guys to just up and willingly quit your job. Um, I definitely have been thinking about this for a long time and quitting the place that I was working at I was serving and I was ready to quit. Management and I were not getting along. And I just been serving for so long. I've been serving for well over 10 years. Um, and it's just, if you know, you know, if you're in the serving industry, then you know it's just not a place of, if, 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 if it's not a good work environment, especially once you get tired of customers and just just that whole like experience you you definitely understand a little bit more um when i say like if you know you know in the server industry um and where i was working at actually i was making great money it's just the disrespect that you get from managers especially um the place that i was working it was a lot of younger servers maybe this might be like their first job or something like that so they are more willing to put up with a lot more from managers and things like that and allow people to speak to them any kind of way than somebody like me who been serving for so long and you know and I'm older and it's just the level of respect thing you're not going to disrespect me regardless of anything because I don't do that to you even if I don't like you I'm going to give you respect until you disrespect me but so I quit, you know, and I had a plan before I quit. So especially for my business, I had already set aside money saved that I wanted to invest into the business. And I had set a set amount saved aside for my living expenses in case anything happened. But again, I do still have my main job as well, like another job that I have that I'm making income with. So I do have money coming in from that. So I don't advise you, like if you don't have a plan or you don't have a backup plan to just up and willy nilly quit, but I advise you to start working on one so that if that's something that you want to do, you can go ahead and, you know, put in the work needed to start working for yourself. Um, and I basically did that. You know, I just decided why do I have to keep tolerating stuff from a company that is obviously not beneficial for their employees. No one, and I mean like no one at the job wanted to be there. And this is a brand new company. Like this, the place that I worked at, we had literally just opened maybe like five, six months ago. So at the time it was like five or six months ago. So it was just like, mm, it's just a pattern that I'm not willing to continue to be a part of. And I decided to go ahead and quit so I can invest in me and that's what I'm doing okay like and this is you know really honestly it's time it's time for me to start working on myself start creating that you know generational wealth that we all want so badly but never realize how hard it is and how much work it is and I don't want to say this to just Make it sound like super easy because it's not you guys. Like this journey has been extremely hard. Like when you're first starting everything, you have to fund everything for yourself as well. You have to literally 
um, you're gonna be breaking the bank for a lot of the first things, especially when it comes to before you, like when you have a brand new business, a baby business, and you're building that business, building business credit, networking, all of those things, they still take time, work, hard work, effort, dedication, and all that stuff. So it's like you still are going to be putting in those long, hard hours of work, but it's for you and it's worth it. It's for you, boo boo. It's for you. It's always going to benefit you in the long run. It's never going to, you know, benefit somebody else's pockets when you're working for yourself. So, yeah, I am taking the step to just really, really initiate that process and just go full force with my own business and my own brand and things um, of that matter. But, yes, yeah, y'all, speaking of just moving forward with my life, y'all. All right, y'all, so my hair is done for the most part. I am gonna just clip it back. Ooh, not so tight to mess my curls up, but just clip it back. That's a little tight, y'all. It's gonna mess my whole. But I'm gonna just clip it back to pull it out of the way so I can do my makeup. Um. But yeah, so I definitely, I'm not saying to quit your job with no type of backup plan or anything like that. Make sure you have a plan in place before you just up and go. Or, or make sure you have the support or, or whatever you need before you make that type of decision. And only you can make that decision for yourself. But um, yeah, so that's one of my biggest life updates, you guys, Um, is just, you know, Quitting my job, I'm working on being a full business owner and just giving my all to my business. Um, and we just gonna do our makeup very, very quickly because my hair is done, but I still have to go back. Oh, here go my little clip I need actually. Cause this is going to allow it to be a little bit more, keep my curls. But um, back to what I was saying, let me just go. Um, but yeah. <clears throat> so another life update is being a single mom. Um, you guys ask me all, 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 all of the time. I get messages on Instagram. Y'all know I can't talk and do my eyebrows, so we're gonna have to. Y'all be with you But um, yeah, so another thing that I definitely get asked about all the time, whether it's from like family, friends, supporters, anything, is just life as a mom, life as a single mom at that. Okay, so um, I never really know the right thing to say because I don't want people to think that being a mom is easy in no way, shape, or form, but it's definitely not what a lot of people make it up to be. It's honestly going to be based off of your mentality and how you're going into it as a mother. So just keep that in mind for one. And for two, it's a learning experience. Like it's, 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 there's no rule book on how to become a mother. And you're not really trying to like control your kid. You're trying to guide them into becoming a good citizen, a good adult and have a good life. Literally, it's not to control them. It's, it's, it's just literally, you're just guiding them. You're chosen to guide them into this life that they are living. And although there's no rule book and it's your first time, their first time, you know, give yourself grace with a lot of things. Because again, us moms, baby, we definitely get, we, we go through it. We go through it from, from everyone. So I definitely understand. But give yourself some grace for one. And then for two, um, it's hard like being a mom is just hard in general it's just hard but it's all about your mentality and and take everything as a lesson and try to be patient is all i can say um 
right now my son is at the age where he is oh this is a little light so it's summer now y'all so you can tell like i need to go and get another color but carson's at the age where he's definitely getting more interested in like knowing about his dad and what happened between me and his dad where his dad is why he don't come around stuff like that and you literally can just be honest like I can only be honest with him and tell him what I know. I don't know why he doesn't come around, but I know that it's not your fault. And you know, I know that I love you with everything, but it's, you know, I just really try hard to make sure that my son understands that, you know, it's not his fault that his dad's not there, but he does see other kids and stuff like that with their dads all the time. So I completely understand how it comes because although my dad was in my life when I was growing up, he wasn't like consistently in my life, unfortunately, but he definitely was there a good bit. So um, I know I've had that feeling before though of just seeing other kids do so many things with their parents. Even with my mom, she worked so much. And you know, we thank her for that, but at the end of the day, it did take away time and it did make you feel a type of way when you see other kids and stuff with two parents or a mom and a dad and you don't have those so right now that's the phase that we in it's a very difficult phase to be in because it's super super hard to just try to explain it in a way for him for my son at least for me like i try to explain it in a way for him to understand but also know that there is nothing wrong with him and that he is literally the best kid in the entire world because he is and you know sometimes just just as a parent it's really not your job to to judge the character of the other parent or to you know make that perception for your kid i you will have your viewpoint on your father at your own point in time but here's what i can tell you and here's what i know and here are the facts and that's that i love you and stuff like that so um that's definitely <laughs> where we are right now and he honestly started to kind of question this around like age five but now that he's six he's way more aware way more active way more intuitive and you know just just wanting to know more and we we sit down and we talk about it so i just tell people like when it comes to motherhood just give yourself grace and you know give your child grace be patient and actually like learn to communicate um, because I would find myself a lot of times like if I had an attitude or something like that or if something throughout the day upset me I would take it out on my son and it's just like he did absolutely nothing to you know deserve my little attitude at the moment or or whatever it may be or my irritation or something like that so oh excuse me y'all just burped but <laughs> um, that is my number one advice to anybody that asks me anything about being a single mom just the hardships of motherhood because it, it's going to be different for everybody nobody's kid is the same nobody's upbringing is the same we may have similar experiences but at the end of the day everybody is still different so just take take lots and lots and lots of advice take lots and lots and lots of you know classes and courses to better yourself but also remember to take certain things with a grain of salt because again there's no rule book on how to parent um and things like that and do your best is all you can really do and and make sure that it is your very very best because your children will know that at the end of the day so a lot of the questions that i get and i can do like a whole sit down video about just mom life and being a mom and my hardships but i think that every question that can be asked about being a mom and the hardships of being a mom especially a single mom now dating as a single mom that's a whole nother discussion but <clears throat> yeah i love the fenty beauty mine is so dirty but i just love this like and it's lasted like two years so love it but um my advice is just give yourself grace and be patient and listen to your child and any hardship that you have as a mother will become a lot easier to get over or it, it'll become less of an obstacle that you're viewing it as and it'll become more of a learning lesson or you know something like that um so that's my advice on that part y'all because i get so many 
DMs and messages. I'm like, I don't know, y'all. Like, I'm not, I don't, I, I have absolutely no idea, but I respect the fact that a lot of people see what I'm doing as a mom and they give me my flowers while they can. Because I do go hard for my son, I do try, and I'm trying to break generational curses that have been built in my family. And that's, that's the process within itself. So I definitely appreciate when people are giving me my flowers and respecting me as a mother. So I don't mind any questions, but it's just so hard to answer them. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I have basically combed out the curls so that they can be like flowy how I want them to be. Um, I do like how they came out. Um, the brunch that I'm going to, it is like an all white brunch. So I have on like a little all white romper and I'm gonna show you guys that right now. I'm just trying to like, you know, fix up my hair a little bit. But even though it's already fixed and good, I just like to be a little extra. Um, let me put my lip gloss on, but this is it for the finished look. But yeah, so as far as like the advice that I was giving you guys, um, like mom, is literally just to give yourself grace. Like, and that's honestly all that you can do. There's nothing more and nothing less that you're gonna be able to do. Be patient, give yourself some grace. But I'm running a little late today, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and head out. So I'm gonna show you guys the outfit details because it's super cute. Um, but yeah, let's let's get into it. Let's get into this fit, okay? Like, let's do a quick fit check. Let me just put this here. Oop. Okay, so for the outfit, I'm just in a super cute white romper. And it's just white shorts. Super duper cute. Cute white romper that I got from Shein, of course. Here's Carson rubbing his dirty hands <laughs> on me. Thank you guys so much again. We are running late, so we're about to head out. But um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. We'll see you guys again. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.